Just empty your pockets. I thought I'd won the pools. As soon as I saw him, I was 90% certain it was him. So I went in to interview him, basically to get a closer look at him, to get a longer look at him. It was uncanny. It was the exact image the dental professor described. He got him right in every detail. I couldn't believe it. I mean, how the hell had he done it? Good morning, Mr. Good morning, yes. As an orthodontist, I've been straightening people's teeth for longer than I would care to admit. Over the years, one comes to recognize various clinical types and to associate a certain set of physical characteristics with a particular set of teeth. Open up. In fact, I will frequently walk into my clinic and, before looking inside the patient's mouth, will attempt to predict the relationship of their teeth by simply looking at their body build. And it is really quite surprising in how many cases one can get it right. With the apple, I had to reverse this process and work back from the, the tooth impressions to the body build. Fortunately, this individual's teeth were were misaligned in a particularly characteristic way. It was clear, for example, that the top row of teeth were crowded and overlapping. The two central incisors were set at a rather V-shaped angle to each other. This indicated that this individual would have a V-shaped upper arch and a high vault to the palate of his mouth. Such people tend to have long, thin faces and large noses and respiratory problems of one kind or another. However, what interested me particularly about the apple was the way it had been eaten. Apparently, our individual had held it with his upper teeth and then broken a piece out of it with his lower teeth. Now, this indicated one of two things. Either that was just the way he ate apples, or alternatively, he found it impossible to bring his front teeth together. Now, there is a condition known as anterior open bite, which describes this inability. In children, it is quite common. Sometimes it is self-correcting, sometimes not. It is therefore very important to predict how the bite will develop. A computer study has confirmed that we can get it right 80% of the time. We have also learned that if the open bite remains untreated and persists into adulthood, such adults will tend to have other extreme features. They will tend to be tall, gangling, long-faced, Lantern jawed, exactly as I described, in fact. All right, bring your head back. That's fine. I open big and wide. And it goes and secure sensation. Impressions from Kelly's teeth were made into a cast, and these were then compared to the bite marks in the apple. According to an independent odontologist, there were no less than 16 points of similarity between the two. He said that the chance of someone else having exactly the same pattern of teeth was about one in two billion. The real Anthony Kelly was convicted of the murders of the father and son. He was also convicted for his part in the murders of the three policemen. He was further implicated in two other terrorist incidents and is now serving a total of seven life sentences. A year later, the real John Riley was convicted of a quite separate murder. The Cassidy brothers disappeared and have never been heard of since.